Hi there, you are watching a video of piping systems in industrial plants. The fundamental aspects when designing supports for an industrial installation are know the functionality of each type of support, master the different types of supports, establish the symbology between the flexibility and supports department, and locate the supports appropriately depending on the type of installation. The selection and design of piping supports is an essential part in the study of any industrial process installation. The fundamental objectives in the selection and design of supports of a piping system are the following. Ensure the integrity of the system. Support the weight of the pipe on weight fluid insulation. Absorb thermal expansion. Resists loads produced by external forces such as earthquake and wind. Absorb vibrations. Absorb water hammers. Prevent leakage in flanges. Limit forces and moments transmitted to the equipment. Protect rotating equipment such as pumps or compressors. Support the system during plant maintenance or shutdowns. Allow the pipe to be sloped to allow proper drainage. The selection of appropriate type of support for any given application is governed by the configuration of the piping system and the operating conditions. Generally, supports are classified according to the way they are attached to the pipe and their method of construction. According to the way they are attached to the pipe, they are classified into primary, those supports welded to the pipe, and secondary, those supports attached to the structure or foundation. These ones support the primary supports. And according to their construction method, they are divided into standard, commercially available, special, custom designed for an application, or structural, large supports such as pipe racks. Pipe supports are categorized according to the function and restriction they exert on a piping system. Supports are generally divided into rigid and spring supports. Within rigid supports we can find simple supports, hangers, struts, etc. Likewise, within spring supports we can find variable load, constant load and shock absorbers. Rigid supports, simple support. This is the most used type of support. Its function is to transmit the weight of the pipe and any other vertical loads to another supporting element or foundation. Hangers. They are similar to simple supports, but instead of being supported, the pipeline is suspended. Stops. This is a type of support which allows rotations but prevents the pipe from having actual displacements. It is used to limit excessive longitudinal displacements. Spring supports. Variable load. 
Within Spring supports, variable load supports are the most used. The spring load varies along with the line expansion within an allowable range. And constant load, in turn, in spring supports of constant load, the load remains constant regardless of the loads in the pipe. This is due to a system of internal levers. And finally, within the special supports, we find the shock absorbers, also known as hydraulic shock or sway suppressors. Its application is limited to the absorption of rapid movements such as vibrations, oscillations and shock loads. The support selection process is an iterative process in which the designer studies the system restrictions and proposes a configuration for the supports. This configuration is again evaluated by the flexibility analysts who generate a flexibility isometric by ratifying or rectifying the design of the proposed supports. Therefore, since this process is iterative, it is necessary to have a clear and simple symbology to assist communication for the parties involved. As seen on the screen, all types of supports can be combined, resulting in supports performing different functions simultaneously. Once the flexibility analysis has been carried out, a marking is made on the piping isometric indicating the restrictions which must be applied to the system. For example, location and type of support, type of restriction, gap clearances allowed in the case of guides or anchors, loads to which the support should withstand, etc. The support's designer must translate this information and transform it into real supports based on the requirements of the project. The allowable spans between supports of horizontal lines are mainly limited by the longitudinal forces that must be kept within the limits or, in some cases, by the maximum deflection. Similarly, in other special cases, the span can be limited to control the natural frequency of the pipe, so as to avoid undesirable vibrations. Basically, the distance between supports depends on the diameter, configuration, structure and fittings, In a horizontal, simple, open field pipeline, the spacing of supports depends only on the strength of the pipe material. The distance between frames of a pipe rack, of a pipe rack is determined based on the weakest point. Sometimes, however, the most practical solution is to simply increase the diameter of the pipe up to the point where it is self-supporting throughout the required span. The maximum recommended space between supports can be established mainly by two methods. Through the calculation of the stiffness of the pipe according to the stress and allowable diffraction, and through tables in codes and projects or client specifications as shown on the screen. The proper location of hangers or fixed supports involves considerations of the pipe itself, the structure to which the load is transmitted to, and space limitations. The preferred points for the location of supports are on the pipe itself and not on components, on straight sections of pipes instead of on elbows, 
on sections of pipes that do not require frequent removal for cleaning or maintenance as close as possible to large load concentrations.